Baja Housing Authority continues. We took tenant concerns about lack of heat, bed bugs, and mice to the city of Omaha, asking the mayor and planning department leaders, when is it time to step in? Okay, TV News Watch 7's Kaylee Searcy gets the facts on what you need to do so the city can take action. I just knew from experience to take action and do what I needed to do as a mother. Shalana Booth says she knew she needed to protect her kids from a home sweltering in the summer heat. June 21st, my air went out. Um, it's, it's not a secret that my air was a big problem. And um, I brought an air unit and I put in a work order. She says it went unanswered for weeks. They all were completed and deleted and um, I couldn't get no help from OHA. As her son's asthma worsened due to the humidity inside her home. It was 90 degrees or even more in my home. So she called the manager of her Omaha Housing Authority property, put in more work orders, but still nothing until she took legal action in small claims court. And three days later, I had a whole brand new air unit when it shouldn't have took that long. Booth lived in what OHA calls scatter site houses, a part of its public housing program for people with low incomes. In total, OHA manages over 2,500 units. I appoint the board. And after that, it is it is run by the board, not the city of Omaha, regulated by HUD, which is a federal department. Booth's concerns are also shared by other tenants living in OHA properties, like the problems noted at Underwood Tower, recognized by the Douglas County Health Department in this code violation obtained by KETV Investigates, dated December 26, which notes bed bugs, cockroaches, water damage, and cited health concerns surrounding heating in the building. But it's just now to the point where they feel like, what else can we do? I don't have anywhere else to go. I can't afford to go anywhere else. They do the best they can, and the board does the best they can to run these and keep them clean and keep them sanitary. Without a complaint from a tenant, the city says they don't have the right to just step in. We can't do proactive inspections, even though, you know, in many cases, you drive by things, you know, it's in violation. Anna Bespoinazzi with the planning department says that all changed with the 2013 lawsuit against right. the city of Omaha that claimed landlords' constitutional rights were being violated. The landlord also has rights as well. And based on the Landlord Tenant Act, the tenant is required to notify the landlord first for these types of issues. In 2015, it was settled into what is known as a consent decree, giving the landlord anywhere from 30 to 90 days to respond to complaints depending on the severity. OHA is no different than any other landlord in the city. So here's where the city's hands are tied. OHA has their own maintenance staff, so when you file a complaint with OHA, the city can't do anything. You have to file a complaint with the code enforcement. That's when the city's inspectors can step in and investigate. We can't respond to something we saw in the news story, but we surely will respond to complaints that we receive. You can reach out to code enforcement by calling 402-444-5150 and press three. That's when their inspectors get involved or by using the mayor's tip hotline. Find more information at omahahotline.com. Kaylee Searcy, KETV, Newswatch 7. Now we reached out to both the Omaha Housing Authority and the Douglas County Health Department both agencies declined to comment on this story.